plans to censor any information that she doesn't removing like. Removing information. TikTok. Maybe censoring information. I'll never forget like this conversation that I had with Hae Young Ho, and he is the highest ranking North Korean official to have ever defected. Hey, so how did Kim Il sung gain all this power? Like, how do you get to be a totalitarian state? Like, what's sort of the process? And he said, well, here's the real secret. You give things away for free. You basically got owned by the regime through the free stuff because the minute you dissent, none of that free stuff is free anymore. And I think free is the most expensive business model. It's the thing that we're sacrificing. When you log in with an email address, you're sacrificing your sovereignty, your data, you have no ownership. That's gonna prevent the government from being tyrannical and saying, you know, John Smith spoke out against us, so we're gonna freeze his bank account. You might not be seeing that today, but I have a suspicion that we'll be seeing that pretty soon. As long as we adopt cryptocurrency, we're not gonna be seeing that ever again. We are dealing helplessly and are endangering our democracy, reintroducing censorship. We call it different, but if you allow people not to express their opinion, then it is censorship, and that's undermining the base of our democracy. Everybody has a right to believe stupid things, and it's a matter of argument to fight it. This was an incredulous to me that two people having a conversation that didn't uh, advocate anything criminal, the overthrowing of inner governments, was just talking about opinions, might be censored. We were banned and deleted from Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Dropbox, PayPal, you name it. And for the first time ever, I realized how important that basic fundamental right of freedom of speech is. The goal of these platforms is to keep you on as long as you can, because the longer you're on, the more money that they make, the more money that they can put into the system, and the more they manipulate you. But the goal is manipulation to sell products. It's censorship, right? They, they, they censor things that they don't like. There's, you know, you hear stories all the time about, I just posted this thing, like a lot of people like post things about Bitcoin, right? And their channels get removed, or people post things about controversial subjects, whether you believe it or not, they'll just take it down. Bitcoin is the greatest extension of natural rights since the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. For me, Bitcoin is, I got into it for the money, but now I'm in it for freedom. 